Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm going to show you guys a few tweaks that will let you turn your um, iPhone running on iOS 5 or iOS 6 into um, iOS 7, uh, or at least look like it. Um, some of these tweaks, I'm not sure which, exactly which ones, some of them only support iOS 6, but um, they say in, in the um, description too, so you'll be able to know if it's supported. And most um, tweaks that support iOS 5 do support iOS 6, but a lot of these are pretty basic. I'm first going to start off with what makes my um, phone look like it. First off, I'm using these themes right here. It's um, mostly they're um, explanatory, or you know they explain themselves. Um, just search iOS 7 in the um, city uh, search area, and you'll find most of them. I have iOS calculator, iOS lock screen, iOS messages, and oh, you can change the colors of those um, texting bubbles. iOS 7 by Bridgeco. I forgot. Um, I think that's the official name on on the in the search for Cydia. Uh flat I have the flat theme and flat icons and I use uh linens and the UI and um these other ones down here are not really working like like not they're they're working but um my other theme actually overlaps it my other theme um uh covers this one up like it makes these two not valid so I just haven't turned them off yet I, they're not really doing anything so I just keep those on but um, that's what I use to make my phone look like it. I'll show you what I mean. As you can see in my settings right here, you can see that I have, um, when you launch it, it does have the regular one. And then right here, everything kind of looks more flatter. You have the top bar that looks uh, what kind of the white, like iOS 7, and uh, also, also the toggle switches. Then if you go down here to... Um, City, uh, I'll show you this other one. It's called the uh, wipe back. I'm sorry, wipe back. Swipe back. And what this does, it lets you go back to your previous screen using swipe, which is actually um, how iOS 7 works. And uh, for example, even in messages, too, you have um, even in messages, for example, if I send a message to myself, um, just a random message. So I'm going to get a text in a second. Okay. So it didn't send, but watch. So I can swipe back, swipe back, swipe back, and um, I can, uh, you know, do the exact same thing. And this works on almost all apps. Um, some of them might cause problems, but you can turn it off um, based on the app name. Like, it'll, you can choose which ones you want it to be on. So, um, and that, that's easy. You just go into swipe right here, um, the swipe back, and you just turn it off for certain apps. Say it makes your um, music thing go crazy, you can just uh, turn it off. Um, what else on the list? Um... To make it look like it, I have a keyboard. Um, it's called, I believe it's called iOS 7 keyboard. Or um, hold on, let me check. It's um, under color keyboards. It's a theme. I believe you download it with color keyboard. Here's color keyboard, and I download the theme. It's called flat keyboard. And what this does is makes your keyboard across iOS uh, 6 or whatever ones are supported, it makes it look like this and it's uh, it's completely typable you just click like normal and it all looks like iOS 7 um, I'm not gonna click the mic button because I might stop my recording but as you can see it makes it look like a flat look there is no transparency yet but I'm looking to find one that is transparent I thought well, I think I found one I just didn't want to use it because I didn't like the um, text of the keyboard I like this one better but as you can see it looks um, pretty close to iOS 7 next we have uh, I think that's all I have for looks. Um, I do have deep end running. Um, that is, that is a tweak. It's um, I don't have to show you the settings. It's just uh, or I do I guess if I want, if I want to. It's called deep end. Have a uh, zoom right there, pitch and roll. What this does is kind of gives you a um, 3D effect to your lock uh, lock screen, not really lock screen, uh, uh, home screen with uh, your gyroscope. You guys won't really see it as a 3D effect. You guys will see it as my icons moving or the wallpaper moving, but it really does work. And it um, another feature they probably took um, and made it into iOS 7. I believe they stole it from jailbreaking, but um, it's really nice. It moves the wallpaper. It's um, pretty uh, fluent. It doesn't work well if you're going upside down or something. Like it's not completely foolproof. And if you try zooming in too much, it gets to look really bad. But um, that's called Deep End. Uh, next, next, next. That's um, all the looks I believe. If I find anything else I haven't showed you guys, um, I'll let you guys know. Oh, wait. Um, folder Enhancer is how I got the uh, folders to look, look like this. And then I uh, edited the background to make it uh, 
uh, black but tint, uh, tinted and transparent, so it looks like iOS 7 folders. I couldn't get it to be 3 across yet, I'm still working on that. But it looks pretty good, it's um, pretty fluent too, it's like, it's uh, nice, it just looks nice. And uh, yep, that's a uh, folder enhancer to get it to look like that. The settings are pretty straightforward, just appearance and uh, I'm running out of time though, but I guess I can show you that too. Uh, folder enhancer right here, you know, appearance and behavior and all the stuff like that that helps you with um, with making it look like that. So that's how you get it to be like that with folders. Anything else I should show you for looks? I believe I covered it all. Oh yeah, um, this is I'll show you this last thing. This is technically for looks. Looks I used blurred, um, blurred notification center, which is how I got the notification center to look like that. Uh, here you go, blurred. Oh, not blurred notification center. Uh, blurred NC background. You can edit how transparent it is. That's how you get it to look, look like this. Now let's talk about functionality. Um, I have NC settings right here, and I have it running a um, a control center, um, iOS 7 control center uh, theme. And you download that for um, um, the regular NC settings tweak, and it will um, give you an option to select that in the settings right here. Let me show you. It says right here under, I think I missed it. I hate when that happens. Hold on a second. I forgot where it was. Oh, duh stupid. Um, here we go, right here under theme, you can choose it after you download it, and that gives you the cool um, circular icons um, that are from Notification Center. And then um, just for a small note, I have Battery Doctor down here to give me these tweaks that, um, tweaks, these um, toggles that were not in NC settings, and also to give me the switcher in case I wanted to um, uh, play my music from uh, from the um, thing, because uh, from anywhere because what happens is with um, me using card switcher I use card switcher to run multitasking now as you can see there's no music controls so if I'm in like if I'm in like uh, settings and I want to do my music I can't do it here anymore I have to actually go um, I have to go up here and do it or which is this is I like this right here but um, before I couldn't even do it anymore from anywhere so I got this to uh, give me the option because there is no uh, replacement for control center right now or no uh, way to get that yet. I'm pretty sure someone's going to jailbreak it and bring it over here. But until then, I have that uh, this multitasking area right here in uh, Battery Doctor. This is the only one I've found so far that actually makes the background of this transparent. So far, I haven't found a uh, a uh, tweak that gives you the multitasking dock inside the, multi the notification center and makes it transparent with your theme. So that's why I like that. Um, other than that, I believe I'm pushing my um, end to this. I uh, think everything else is explanatory with the themes. Um, I'm using live battery, I believe, um, battery indicator. That's how I get that circular indicator on the top. Um, theme, I'm using a uh, theme for text. I'm using a uh, uh, beta font, uh, font, and I'm using, uh, I believe it is called... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm approaching my limit. I hate having limits for time. I believe I'm using... Uh, I'm using whatever that one's called. I don't want to cuss, but it actually is <laughs> a cuss word. I'm not sure why it says that. Okay, well, yeah, either way, that's pretty much a quick, like, not quick look, but a full look at what I have so far. I'm pretty sure there's going to be other ones, um, other tweaks coming out. They're going to make it even better. Um, I'm pretty sure someone's working on some of the other um, tweaks that were not already on the um, store. Because you think about it, a lot of the features that they showed at um, at the WWDC... They were already out there in the jailbreaking community. You already had card switching all the way back in iOS 3. You already had um, full backgrounding back in um, like iOS 4 days. And then you had uh, you had most of these features already on here. So um, a lot of the stuff wasn't new. So I'm pretty sure people are already looking at, um, okay, what was not already on here? And they're probably already working on uh, on uh, ways to make it better. So I hope you guys got, some, um, got something out of this. I hope I wasn't talking too fast. Um, if you guys like the video, please uh, comment and subscribe and like this video. And um, I'm also going to be starting to do a series where I um, talk about tweaks that are new on the App Store. Or <laughs> App Store. The Cydia Store or whatever you want to call it. I call it Cydia Store. Um, I'll show you guys new tweaks and I'll also show you guys um, uh, ways to make your iPhone cooler. 
Um, right now, I don't really want to change anything, which is actually pretty crazy for me, because I always like downloading new tweaks. But right now, I actually like it the way it is, and it's pretty, um, if you can see, it's pretty easy to get around. I even have it where I swipe up, and it gets to my notification center instantly. And I can just, like, clear out my stuff, and, uh, also, you know, think text to clear, or task clear, and, you know, close your apps. It's pretty fluent, even with it jailbroken. And this is an iOS, uh, this is running iOS 6, and it's an iPhone 4S. So it's not even the newest one, and still, with everything going on, it's uh, it's still working pretty strong. So I like that. Joe Rook, I'm happy about it right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the real iOS 7 when it comes out. I might wait a little bit. But um, other than that, this ends my uh, recording. Hope you guys had a, have a uh, great time watching this. And uh, if you have any questions, comment. And, uh, yep, have a great day. Bye.